In this video, I'm going to answer these standard normal distribution problems using Excel. So I'm going to put the Z values here. So let's just say we have 1.2. I'm going to find the area below that, which is going to be using norms dist. And then I'm going to put the Z value there, comma, and then true or just 1. So that's the area below. And for the area above, I can do 1 minus that below area. So I'm going to copy that and paste down here for the second Z value. So let's just assume this one is 2.4 for now. And then I can find the difference, that is the area between those two, by taking the below area of the larger Z score minus the below area for the smaller Z score. Okay, so to answer the first question, it is always very important to draw the normal curve. So we want the area between negative 1.98 and 0. So for the smaller value, I'll place negative 1.98. And then for the larger Z, I'll put 0 here. And this is the area between them. So that is going to be the answer to that first one. For the second one, we have Z less than 1.21, which is somewhere here. And we have 1.94, let's assume somewhere here. So we want this area here. That is less than 1.21, not 1.29, 1.21. And then we also want the area less than 1.94. So we want the intersection of the two because of the word and here. So the intersection of the two will just be the area less than 1.21 here. So we just need to find the area less than 1.21. And that will be the answer to that one, 0.8869. For part C, we want the area less than 1.61, which is 1.61 here. We have negative 0.45 here. So we want less than 1.61, which will be all this area here. And then we want the area greater than negative 1.45, which will be the area here. So and again means we're looking for the intersection. So we're looking for the area between the two. So here we can do negative 0.45 and then over here I'm going to put 1.61. So the area between them is 0.6199. For part D, we have 1.21, let's say somewhere here, and 2.49. So we want the area less than 1.21, that would be the area here. And then we want area less than 2.49. And that will be all this area here. Now, the word or just means any part that is shaded or covered at all. So, since this 1.21 is already captured inside the 2.49. So, or means everything less than 2.49. So, we're essentially just looking for the probability that Z is less than 2.49 there. So, if you put 2.49 here, we will get 0.9936. For part E, we have negative 0.36, which is somewhere over here. And then we have negative 0.86, which will be somewhere over here. We're looking for less than negative 0.36, which will be over here. And then we're looking for greater than 0.86, which will be all over here on this side. So since we have R, which means anywhere that is shaded at all, is captured, the total area under the curve is captured, so we have a value of 100% or 1 here. For this next set, we have given questions. So again, we're going to be using the fact that probability that A given B is probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So for probability of Z greater than 1.3 given Z greater than 0, it will be probability that Z is greater than 1.3 and z greater than 0. Now, because we have normal distribution, it doesn't matter whether I use greater than or equal to, or greater than is the same thing. And then divided by probably the z greater than 0 by definition. For the numerator, we have z greater than 1.3, 1.3 somewhere here, 0 is somewhere here. So we're looking for greater than 1.3 and at the same time greater than 0. So we can see that the intersection there is just the area greater than 1.3. So we can just leave that as z greater than 1.3 there. So all we're doing is we're taking the probability that 
z is greater than 1.3 and we are dividing that by the probability that z is greater than 0. So we're going to take the probability that z is above 1.3 and divide that by z above 0. So if we take those two we have equals this number here divided by 0.5. So that will give us 0.1936 and that will be the answer to that one. For the next one, another given question, this will be probably that z is greater than 1.21 and z is greater than 1.95 divided by the probability that z is greater than 1.95. So again, we need to draw to see the intersection of the two. So we have 1.21 here, we have 1.95 here. So we have greater than 1.21 and greater than 1.95. So the intersection of a 2 is greater than 1.95. The numerator is essentially just the probability that z is greater than 1.95. So if we divide those two, it will be the same number, we will get 1 here. So in part h, again, we have probably that z is less than 1.94 and z is greater than 2.49. That's divided by z greater than 2.49. So again, if we draw the numerator, we have 1.94. This is always important to draw. And then we have 2.49 here. So we want less than 1.94 and greater than 2.49. So we see that there is no region satisfying both at the same time. There is no end region. There is no intersection. So this numerator is going to be 0. So if we do 0 divided by whatever probability we have at the denominator here, we'll still get 0. And for the last one here, we have probability that z is greater than negative 0.37 and z is less than 0.31 divided by probability that z is less than 0.31. So again, if we draw the numerator, negative 0.37 is somewhere here and 0 0.31 is somewhere here. So we're looking for greater than negative 0.37, but less than 0 0.31. So the intersection is in the middle. We essentially just need to take the between area and divide it by the less than 0 0.31 area. So if I put negative 0 0.37 here and put 0 0.31 here, so I'll be taking this between area and dividing it by the below area here, the less than 0 0.31. So if I do that calculation, I will get 0 0.4279. And that's it.